Now the name is unique as well, right? The reclamation kit. <laughs> Why reclamation What? kit? Well, I think it's reclaiming the uh, external leakage okay. from the shaft seal I and reclaiming the life of the bearing. I like it. You're right? Yeah. Yeah. How long did it take you to come up with that? <laughs> This one? Yeah. Just like how much your time you take to land. <laughs> so the, the case is pressurized. It's going through the bearing. Yeah. It's coming out through here. You got a check valve. Yeah. Making sure that. Uh, uh, take the air as well as down. Yeah. Make sure, sure it's only going one direction. Correct. Here. Yeah. So this drain is coming out of here as well at the same time. And then this is also coming out yes. from here. Yes. Okay. And is drawing this oil at the same time. Correct. So it's drawing it from here, here, and here. Correct. Uh, so why do you, if it's drawing it from here, why does it need this or else or, 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 or air would get in there or how is it? We need this. We need, why we need eductor? Yeah. To, to just get the oil out of the shaft cell. That is the only purpose. Because there is no other way that they can get the oil, external oil out of that shaft it's, it's cell. Called, that's why it's called a recla reclamation kit. It's, rec it's reclaiming the oil that would leak out the shaft seal, is reclaiming it into the system, into the case, and that's why it's got a check valve, so it doesn't get pressurized out, the, out that part. Only problem is, that one's not coming from the shaft seal. That one's coming from the bearing. So yeah, the other side is coming from the yeah, shaft seal. But, that's, okay. but same, that, that's same, same, same thing. That's a nice word to say reclamation. Yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah. But I had to throw that in there. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we need a reclamation kit on this one? So that is where we are getting it after we're going to install. So the main purpose of the reclamation kit is to take out the uh, leaks from the shaft seal with the help of three main components, an adductor, okay. a case check, and a free flow check. Okay. But is it only... so? The reclamation? No, this is, this is for specific applications like okay. vertical applications. Okay, vertical applications. Yes. Okay. Even the shaft is shown facing upward. So that means pump is down, motor is up. So it's a vertical application. So maybe I'll grab the schematic in my hand. That way it's easy for me to explain. We have this port connected to the D2 which is right onto here. And this side is blocked, which is right in here. Cross is a block. Then you have a T connection over this point. So that means one side is connected to bearing flushing port and the other part is connected to the eductor port. So one is connected here to the bearing and the other is connecting right to the mini eductor. Now this is the servo port which is marked as a G port on this so like in the housing it's a G port here so the flow will get from here on to the eductor so that it can take the fluid from the shaft seal so that is this line so it is right onto from G onto the motive to show how it looks so it will be like this so if you see it will be similar to this See that? So the one line going out, one line going out, and the one line coming in. So like I said, the G port goes on to the inlet of the eductor, which is this. Now, maybe people will, they ask what is the eductor? So, an eductor is just, you can call as a venturi pump. So, it works on the principle of the pump. So, it takes one fluid to take the other fluid out back to the tank. So, that is the purpose of the pump as well. That is this. So now you have this port, 
which is an SD port here, which is going to the suction of this eductor. And then you have a free flow check in between, which is this part. And it will create a vacuum in between this portion, take the oil out, back to the case, out of the case from the back to the tank. Is that it? Like that is it. Yeah. So just a matter of main three components, which, which is a 5 PSI check, a mini eductor, and a free flow check. And then rest of the everything are the tubings, which can vary from size to size. So you're saying that the reclamation kit has two purposes, right? Yes. One is to lubricate the bearing shaft, and the other one is to remove the oil. Remove, so a gold cup has a dual lip shaft seal. Okay. Okay, now in between that shaft seal, if any of it leaks, you need to, you need to get that external leak out of that back to the tank. So that's the purpose of the reclamation kit. So, so that the leakage doesn't fall and the fluid flows back to the yeah. tank with the help of the kit. We have a content team that's generating content just for you. So why don't you like and subscribe. Thank you.